Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm Brenton Ragless, coming to you live from North Terrace in the city of Adelaide here in South Australia. Good morning, I'm Kate Collins, and you're about to see the very best in family entertainment and what makes this city so great. More than 300,000 people are joining us here on the streets of Adelaide and over the next two hours you're going to enjoy more than a thousand pageant characters together with spectacular dancers, bands and a special performance from singing star Rob Mills. And don't forget the 88 colourful floats and bands, the hundreds of clowns and of course the man himself, Father Christmas. And right now each and every one of them is ready to get this party started. Welcome to our Christmas tradition. It's time for the 83rd Credit Union Christmas pageant. Ah, uh, yes, it's wonderful to be here, boys and girls, mums and dads, grandmas and grandpas. Welcome to the 2015 Credit Union Christmas pageant. No matter where you're watching, we're thrilled that you can join us for this very special occasion. We are proudly broadcasting on Channel 9 and you can relive the pageant magic a little later today on 9jumpin.com.au. And we can see now, this is the very, very start of the pageant. We have the beautiful horses, uh, the Mounted Police, the Band of South Australian Police, which was formed in 1884, just behind them. But those beautiful, uh, beautiful police greys, Brenton, always start the Christmas pageant here in Adelaide. We have Vulcan the Horse, ridden by Sergeant Darren Watkins. Zulu's being ridden this year by Senior Constable Tim Stacey. As we've got Zyla, ridden by Sergeant uh, Rachel Metcalf. And Val uh, Valance, or Valance, which is written by Senior Constable Tanya Bowen. And they're involved in all the different events we have across the year here in South Australia with their day-to-day -day police duties. And right behind them, as you said, the band of the South Australia Police. They were formed in 1884, the very first police band in Australia. They are led today by Drum Major Sergeant Adam Buckley. And we've got the clowns there as well. We'll be seeing, as you mentioned, Brenton, hundreds of clowns throughout the pageant today, spreading their mischief and their cheer to all the kids on the sidelines, giving them high fives. <laughs> and here's the SA Police Band. of the pageant, Brenton. Yes, heralding the start of the festive season here in South Australia and indeed right across the country. Now, if you look closely, it's not just Satchmo there. There's a mighty strong clown behind him using all his funny bones to hold up the elephant. There he is. <laughs> that would be a very heavy elephant. I think he'd be tired by the end of the pageant. <laughs> and he's in an awkward spot there with all the clowns joining them along the way. These, of course, are the staff of the sponsoring credit unions. We're thrilled to have them involved every year. Absolutely, and they've had to go through a special pageant school as well. A, a clown school, in fact, to learn how to be clowns <laughs> in this year's pageant. Of course, you see the 20 years on the start of the float. That means this is the 20th year now that the credit unions have got behind this pageant. We're so grateful for their support. We are. It is their gift to South Australia. Celebrate the good time. And again, joining us this year, the beautiful Christmas fairy elves, Boots and Twinkle. Now, these two are giant puppets, which are being operated by our pageant puppeteers. As we welcome the robot family Christmas. Now, this float really shows, Brenton, that Christmas is a universal tradition. It's a universal celebration. But I've got to ask you, what do you think a robot would want for Christmas? Well, if you look closely, I reckon there could be a human doll, maybe. A living doll. I guess that makes sense. Ah, oh, there she is. <laughs> Got mum and dad and brother and sister robots. Oh, she's going back in her present. Nice surprise. Save that surprise for Christmas Day. Do you look into your presents underneath the tree before Christmas Day? I might have a little oh, peek, okay. Brenton. Don't tell me that. No. Just tear off the corner just and then hide it again under another present. Yeah, if you use that special scotch tape. <laughs> Speaking, of Speaking of scotch. Speaking of scotch. The Scotch College Tattoo Corps and the Highland Dancers. Now, 
this troupe is made up of uh, past and present students of Scotch College, Scotch College here in Adelaide. And this year, they were lucky enough to uh, represent Australia at the Virginia USA International Military Tattoo. And Forest Fantasy celebrating the wonderful fantasy stories about the fairies living in our gardens at home. Butterfly there. Beautiful, Beautiful butterfly with those big wings gently flapping along the pageant route. And all of those little fairies that hide in the bottom of the garden, Brenton. If you go out there on a sunny day, right to the bottom of the garden and look under a few rocks and behind a few bushes, you might be lucky enough to spot one of those beautiful fairies. It is amazing, isn't it? Our own backyard is in itself a little zoo of all sorts of creatures, big and small. That's a big butterfly, though. It really is. No missing that butterfly. <laughs> and those spinning tops are being carried along today by the SA Precision team. Juniors from the SA Precision team, which is a calisthenics group here in Adelaide, doing a fantastic job of dancing their way over three and a half kilometres along the pageant route. Dressed up today as little teddy bears. Actually, there's lots of teddies in the pageant, and there's a new teddy bear this year that's very, very special indeed. Well, don't ruin the surprise, no, Renton. We'll you. definitely see that teddy a little bit later on. I can't wait. Lots of other new floats this year too, Kate, as well. There certainly is. We have six new floats this year, Brenton. The List Keeper. I won't tell you about that just now. But there's also the Christmas Star. Stars are synonymous with Christmas. And when you see this big star, Father Christmas isn't going to be too far away either. He's, a, he's the real star of the pageant. We also have another big toy. That's, that's the hint I'll give you as well. <laughs> another okay. new float, which is another big toy. Here's another teddy bear, though. This is not the teddy bear I was talking about. There's still to come. This is Teddy Toss. Of course, teddies play a big role in everyone's childhood. I don't know about you, Kate, but of course this year's been a very special year for both of us. We've both started our own families and uh, our new sons. I have held on to my teddy bears from when I was a kid. So have I, actually. Hand on. I have too. I have my little teddy bear, which I called Bluey. <laughs> oh, nice. Very creative. Blue, little blue teddy bear, Bluey, that I've kept for my little boy, so I can't wait to give it to him. Oh, it's beautiful indeed, isn't it? And here we have Ye Old Pageant Tram. Of course, this is one of my favourites as well, Brenton, because we do have trams here in Adelaide that run down uh, from the city down to Glenelg, which is a really iconic trip to take on our trams here. It's almost Adelaide's own version of Coney Island in New York, with all the Absolutely. fun the activities, the, the beachside plaza there at Glenelg. Of course, this tram here, I kid you not, we have trams still operating in South Australia that date back over a century. Look at it, it's a killer tramway, and they look as good as this one right here. Everyone's just so thrilled to be here. And again, no matter where you're watching, we're thrilled that you could join us for this special telecast, the 83rd Credit Union Christmas pageant with our sponsoring credit unions, Credit Union SA, the Police Credit Union, Beyond Bank and People's Choice Credit Union. And joining us now, the Harndorf Town Band and the Cheryl Bradley Dancers. They've been going for a while, haven't they? They started in 1926 and they're still playing now. Absolutely. And of course, started in the township of Harndorf, which was founded here in South Australia in 1838. Now, trees planted at the, at the time, Brenton, are still lining the main street of Harndorf. And if you haven't been there, it's an absolutely beautiful green hamlet lined with lots of German German themed stores. Of course, the people of Germany settling there in 1838. And that's brought a real flavour to the Adelaide Hills, hasn't it? You oh, can go up there stunning. and enjoy a bit of uh, a bit of Metwurst, a bit of Kransky <laughs> and some German beer. Especially normal. Well, wherever you are, stay with us. We'll have more from the Credit Union Christmas pageant right after the break. And the Christmas Cake Maker with the Prestige Dance Academy. The rock and roll dancers behind them. We'll see them in just a moment. But right now, our chefs here, who look like very, very large chefs, 
They've tried a few too many cupcakes themselves, maybe, Kate. <laughs> I think they might. I love baking Brenton, so this is one of my favourite floats. And especially baking at Christmas time, there's something really special about getting in the kitchen and making all of your Christmas cakes, you know, your beautiful fruit cakes for Christmas and Christmas puddings. But also, I love to make Christmas biscuits. Oh, yum, Kate. Now you're talking. You know the best thing, though, about making Christmas biscuits? is not the final biscuits themselves, but lick in the bowl. Absolutely. But also, I love decorating the Christmas biscuits. <laughs> it's the best part. You can. We do angels, we do Christmas stars. I know a lot of kids at home today who can't be here at the pageant are themselves making Christmas biscuits at home. If While you watching are, the Christmas pageant. If you are, I, I, I wouldn't mind trying some just between you and me. <laughs> yeah, Mum used to make all these little gorgeous Christmas cakes growing up. Much like these ones here, which are a little bit larger than the ones at home. Kate, you make some awesome muffins. You bring them into work every now and again. I do. I enjoy making muffins and cupcakes, but I don't know how I'd go making them <laughs> quite this big, Brenton. That would be quite a task. How many of those do you reckon I could eat? Um, probably, <laughs> I'd be say, careful. give it a good crack to go to. <laughs> Two. I thought you were say all of them. I just think about all the flour, sugar and eggs that would go into those cupcakes. Well, My I'll goodness. Give you a hint. I had about three of those this morning, so if they're missing behind, you know where they've gone. Now this is the beautiful Christmas carol float starring the Australian girls choir as we can just start to hear their beautiful voices ring out. Brenton, uh, they're caroling along the route today and caroling of course is another wonderful Christmas tradition. Well, I can't wait for the carols, we'll all be able to join in with the Australian girls choir after the pageant when Father Christmas arrives. But the wonderful folk here on the, uh, the float here that worked with Hugh Jackman, John Farnham, Olivia Newton, John, the son for royalty who were in town earlier this week. Doesn't that look like a picture-perfect postcard of Christmas? Looks like that clown's got himself a rather large candy cane. Now, these clowns are extra special, Kate. They're the clown doctors. There are six Adelaide clown doctors that visit the Women's and Children's Hospital and the Flinders Medical Centre every week, spreading doses of fun and laughter to sick children, turning tears into smiles. They say laughter is the best medicine. They sure do. Clown doctors are provided at no cost as well, Brenton, to the hospitals and they're provided by the Humour Foundation, which was established in 1997. They have clown doctors all around Australia doing such a fantastic job. Now, Kate, you know I love my trams, my planes, <laughs> my trains, my it's buses. It's no secret, Brenton, no secret. This, my dear, is a genuine London bus. It was shipped to Adelaide specifically for the pageant in the 1970s. And the lucky folk here on board, they're all guests from local children charities Camp Quality and Foundation 21. They're invited to be a part of this special pageant. Now, that would be a thrill, wouldn't it? It sure would, Brenton. They'd have the best view from up there on top of the bus, don't you think? Looking down, and those beautiful murals on the side were painted by Gary Lee Gaston. And you can see some of the pageant characters there painted on the side. 83 years of history with the pageant, and you can spot out some of the characters that have come and gone over the years. Rodney the biplane there, he heralded the very first pageant in 1933 and will be a part of our pageant this year. Now this is a very special float as well, Brenton. Christmas jazz in the park with the pageant jazz band. The Dixieland Jazz Group was the first ever band to play on a float in the pageant's history. So this is one that's steeped in lots of pageant history for us here in Adelaide. It's now part of this unique Adelaide day for half a century. Isn't it amazing? And you see on the drums there, Keith Conlon. He is the last of the originals from the Dixieland Jazz Group and this year is his 50th appearance in the Credit Union Christmas pageant. Isn't that incredible? Yes, Mr South Australia himself. And the float is, of course, a replica of the Elder Park Rotunda, which uh, sits on the banks of the River Torrens, just opposite the famous Adelaide Oval. Those plans better get out of the way. That rotunda is moving at around about six kilometres an hour at the moment. Oh, and Kate, new this year, this is Christmas Puppy. How and cute is he? How much do dogs make Christmas a whole lot more fun? And there's Rachel Leotard walking her dog as well. From the yes. Royal Society of the Blind, these dogs help many people who are vision impaired in South Australia. Rachel, of course, was a beautiful contestant on The Voice. She has the voice of an angel, Brenton. She sure does. And she's a proud South Australian. Yeah, what a wonderful ambassador for South Australia. Thrilled that she could be here.
And with Christmas Puppy here too, that's not his actual name. We're actually looking for a, a name to give this puppy. You can go to the pageant Facebook page and post your name for the puppy at the top of the page. As is, you could even win yourself a trip to next year's Christmas pageant. There's Rodney, the red biplane. <laughs> yes. He's, he's based on, uh, well, this is one of your favourite things as well, planes, Brenton, but <laughs> Rodney's based on a, a red biplane that flew over the first pageant in 1933 to announce that the pageant was coming to Adelaide. But, you know, he's having trouble getting off the ground here, Kate, because of all the presents there in the cockpit. I mean, that's a heavy plane, and he needs a lot of space to get off the ground. But as long as those big presents are there, he's not going to get off the, off the ground. I think that's a pretty good reason not to get off the ground today. Carrying presents is a very important job. As Toby the toy truck would absolutely know, he's been a big favourite in every sense of the word since 1998. He's got a huge smile there, which is matching all the boys and girls smiling and waving to him on the sidelines as well today. Looks like he swallows all those presents up. And if you look closely too, there's two very lucky drivers driving Toby toy truck. Though just quietly, I reckon Toby... He doesn't mind being driven around the pageant. He can rest and just watch the crowd. Well, look at that big smile. I think he's very pleased with himself. And above there, you can see him. And you talk about Rodney with his toys. Look how many toys are in here in the toy truck. Wow. There are so many to toys. I reckon they would do all the boys and girls around the world. What's your present? What one would you have? Oh, I like the drum, I think. Of course, Toby Toy Truck's filled up with all those presents by Billy Bulldozer. And he's got a couple of children in his scoop as well. Children driving driving him there, but also in the front, couple in prime position as well. Hopefully, hopefully he's not giving those children away. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many presents there are. Well, of course, for all the good boys and girls, Father Christmas does need a bit of help. It's he not sure just does. him. He's got a lot of helpers that help prepare him for Christmas, which is now, Kate, just 41 sleeps away. Wow. Well, Brenton, brace yourself because I think one of your favourites might be coming up really? very, very shortly. <laughs> oh, of course, Fergus, the North Pole fire engine. Now, for those of you who don't know, Brenton is a huge fire engine fan. He's a <laughs> member of his local CFS brigade here in South Australia, so he does love his fire trucks. Fergus is no exception. Yes, they uh, used to get me to do the siren. When the siren would break, they'd get me to lean outside the fire truck and... <laughs> <laughs> but unlike our CFS fire trucks here, Fergus is uh, blowing out, uh, I think that's snow. Yeah, well, if you're in the North Pole, there's not much water around. You've got to blow the snow out, don't you? Of course, the pageant's supported by all our wonderful emergency service personnel right around the state. The Metropolitan Fire Brigade, no. fire Brigade the South Australia Police, the Ambulance, the St John Paramedics and State Emergency Services. <laughs> and our CFS, our volunteer firefighter, is very busy right across this warm period of the year. They play such an important role over summer, keeping us safe from bushfires. <laughs> this is the City of Elizabeth pipe band established in 1965. It is another Scottish pipe band based in the northern Adelaide suburb of Elizabeth and is celebrating 50 years at Brenton this year. here on Channel 9 right after the break. More from the 2015 Credit Union Christmas pageant. Well, this is a, a beautiful big doll, Brenton, that we were talking about a little bit earlier. Um, the beautiful Lily Rose. And we were saying many kids will be asking for a doll this Christmas. That's right. New to the Credit Union Christmas pageant this year. Almost reminds me of the Cabbage Patch dolls. Absolutely. Not that I had one. I, I, I personally didn't have a Cabbage Patch <laughs> I doll. I did, though. I, I did had you? a Cabbage Patch doll <laughs> when I was a child growing up. But look at beautiful Lily Rose. She's, she's a life-size... Well, she's big, much bigger than life-size, but a very life-like doll. Blinking her eyes there, watching all the boys and girls as she goes past in the Christmas pageant. And, of course, joined by lots of beautiful roses along her side, ca uh, carrying beautiful posies of lilies and roses there, waving with their beautiful curly pigtails as well, Brenton. 
Now, because I'm not so much for dolls, I will point out that those vehicles pulling the floats are incredibly old themselves. They used to pull the luggage floats at the Adelaide Airport back in the 50s and 60s, and same with the railway station. But Lily Rose doesn't care so much about that. She's eyeing off all the boys and girls in the crowd. More than 300,000 people lining the streets here in Adelaide for this year's pageant, marking the 83rd year. Oh, this is one of my all-time favourite floats, Brenton. This is, of course, Bruto, the most lovable of monsters. Bright and pink. He's so big. Look at all that bright pink glittery fur. You can't miss him. And this is one of the best spots to view the pageant. These two lucky girls this year sitting in the arms of Bruto, all safe and snuggled in there, waving to all the boys and girls along the pageant route. And look at him. He's holding them nice and tight and safe and just watching over the crowd as he travels along North Terrace. You know all those giant cupcakes we saw earlier? I think he might have eaten yeah, some. I think so. <laughs> I think, see how pink he is? There's a reason why he's so pink and I reckon he ate a whole dozen if not more of those giant cupcakes. Ah, the lovely nipper. Isn't she beautiful? This is Georgina Dirix who's been selected to take the honoured role of One of the most honoured positions in the pageant, Brenton. Oh, isn't it? This is every girl's little dream to ride Nipper, the brown horse. In the very first pageant in 1933. But even before that, though, Kate, in the Magic Cave in 1926. That's right. Nipper is always visited in the Magic Cave right back since 1926. And was originally a family rocking horse in the Haywood family, who, of course, started our pageant tradition here in Adelaide. And special thanks to those beautiful flowers there, the volunteer flower arrangers and floral designs by Blair Ringwall from the Woodville Academy of Floral Design for all the beautiful flower arrangements that are complementing Nipper and Georgina so well. And this is Young Adelaide Voices, directed by Christine Anderson. Now, this is an Adelaide choir that has a really wonderful international reputation. Most recently, members performed with the Rolling Stones at Adelaide Oval. Brenton, what an honour to perform with such an iconic rock band. They have won many international choral competitions as well. I have to say, that was the best part of the concert, I reckon, seeing our own local talent on stage there. What a thrill, and what beautiful voices. And this is Nipper's counterpart, Nimble. We have Ella Crowley riding on top of Nimble this year. Another beautiful horse. Of course, Nimble is the gorgeous white or grey horse. You know, uh, I did, do I say it, you know why she's white? 101 years old this year. Wow. <laughs> a few grey hairs in there, I think, Brenton. <laughs> no, but I love a white horse. And Nimble was first introduced to the Magic Cave in 1914. Now, the beautiful thing is that you'll be able to meet Nimble yourself because Nimble will be at the Magic Cave and David Jones right up until Christmas, helping to entertain all the thousands of kids that will be there right up until Christmas Day. 41 sleeps away. You might need to take in a carrot for Nipper and Nimble this year. <laughs> and again, thanks to those beautiful flower arrangements there from the Woodville Academy of Floral Design. This is the South Australian Police Pipes and Drums, led by Pipe Major Phil Wilde. And of course they are wearing the SA State Heritage Tartan. It is the official South Australian Tartan. <laughs> Marching along in formation, of course, they've had plenty of practice. They've appeared at the Edinburgh Military Tattoo, the Moscow Military Tattoo in Red Square and in the Basel Tattoo as well. Plenty of experience doing their thing around the world, Brenton. Featuring the clinic, the mighty good talent, MC Shepherd, even some of the staff from Channel 9, this is Christmas Rabbit. Now, it's a bit of a rage cage. 
these things are popular right across a lot of the uh, the parks and reserves around our state, Kate. A chance for people to skate around. Get out in the fresh air and enjoy uh, trying out some of their new tricks. Ah, oh, Deb Gerskis, our lovely receptionist at Nine. She <laughs> and Alexa. is one of our stars of Channel Nine. She's been with us since, uh, well, I won't say how long, but she's one of the early uh, early staff members. Since television first started here with Channel Nine in 1959. Of course, we've just moved into the city as well. It's been great, hasn't it, Kate? And the wonderful Sally as well at the front there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peter, and what about Wonderful staff at Channel 9 here in Adelaide enjoying some of the skaters in the background doing their thing. That Brenton Harris there. <laughs> Look at him. That's Getting fantastic. the crowd going with his boom box. <laughs> that, that, I kid you not, that boom box sits with him. He's one of our editors at Channel 9. Uh, it's wonderful to have them involved here and uh, again we've been so welcome in the city. And we are just truly honoured to be the broadcast partner here of the Credit Union Christmas pageant. We are so grateful to Event South Australia, the company that run the pageant, owned by the South Australian Tourism Commission. We are truly honoured to be presenting this telecast with them. And keeping things colourful, we have Professor Weirs and her chaotic contraptions, Brenton. Look at them go. All sorts of inventions on this float. Look at all the moving parts. This actually reminds me of a game we've got at home. You've probably got it. It's a classic called Mousetrap. Have you yes. seen that? have played that many a time. How good is that? I love getting games at Christmas. I don't play them all that well. I'm terrible at playing games, but I love things like this. All the movement and colour is fantastic. In fact, you can see on the other side, that movement is courtesy of the cyclists there. Keeping things going, but all of those colourful balls there, Brenton, are making their way up to the top of the contraption and finding their way down. That would have taken ages to set up. <laughs> well, it's almost like the... Uh, Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, isn't it? Behind it really the scenes, is. we need to keep the pageant moving, and so this is all the machinery you see behind. Maybe those balls are giant gumballs, perhaps. Well, did you know, Kate, yesterday was Friday the 13th? Yes. A day for us to all be wary and suspicious, especially with these characters around <laughs> from Ghastly Grove, number 13, nonetheless. I don't know, this scares me. This they're one. a little bit spooky. I hope they're not frightening all the boys and girls. Like a nightmare before Christmas, frozen in time. You might be unlucky enough to live next door to these guys. <laughs> Do you reckon they'd be bad neighbours, Brenton? I don't know. Look at the tree. I mean, the tree itself is just creeping over that house. It's a bit of a nightmare. Might need a bit of a trim. I was going to say, ahead of the bushfire season, uh, we'd really need to want to trim that back. Absolutely. I think this really is the nightmare before Christmas. You know what? They don't look all that scary after all. If you look closely, some of them are having a bit of a smile there. I love this one. This is a great classic in time, isn't it? What Toad got for Christmas inspired by the classic tale, Wind in the Willows. This is one of my favourite childhood stories, Brenton. And Toad's got a brand new car for Christmas. <laughs> Hurtling along the road there. Looks like he's launching off that bump there. Right hey, over the bridge. Hey, you, you and you, get out of the way. <laughs> Those sheep look like they're going to get bowled over by toe. Saying, slow down and watch out. At least they've got the signs up. <laughs> oh, one of the sheep. Oh, no. You are in trouble. Nearly crashed. The Onkaparinga City Concert Band and <laughs> Belly Dance Art Academy following behind. Looks like they've got some new members. There's a clown there with a guitar. <laughs> I think he might think he's part of the band, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Saxophones, flautists. They're the current state B-grade champion. Well done, guys. And these are the Belly Dance Art Academy. Specialising in belly dance. Or dance, I should say. It's dance in dance South Australia. Dance in South Australia, Brenton. And belly dancing is really a fantastic form of fitness. Yes, I've been trying a bit at home. And, uh... <laughs> Getting a six-pack through dancing, Brenton. 
Uh, well, once upon a storybook, there are so many stories to be told on this float. It's based on fairy tales, the nursery rhymes, books such as Jack and the Beanstalk. In fact, there's the giant looming over the float, over the storybook. All the closely. characters there, you can Little see. Little Miss Muffet. We've got the cat and the fiddle at the front there. There's Jack. The Pied Piper, I think, maybe with all those mice there. I think you're about to run up the clock. Humpy Dumpy is there as well. It looks like if he's lucky, he'll stay up there and won't fall because that would that would be the end of well, the pageant for Humpty Dumpty. There would be egg all over the road. It would be a disaster. And there would be egg all over his face, I would imagine. <laughs> What a lovely fire-breathing dragon. Well, is it a dragon? This is Granny Flo. The perfect storyteller, telling the story of the pageant tradition. And she, of course, encourages young people to travel and explore the world. And there's so much to see here, right here in South Australia as well, Brenton. We've got the beautiful Kangaroo Island. We've got the Barossa Valley, the Adelaide Hills and the huge coastline. And, of course, the outback, not too far away as well. So why not holiday in your own backyard? There's so much to see right here in SA. It's Tinsel Time, starring The Gang Show. Beautiful, glistening, tinsel-covered mobiles carried by The Gang Show. Now, these are scouts learning skills through theatre. The Gang Show provides over 140 volunteers to the pageant each year. They do a fantastic job, and we're so grateful that they're part of our pageant again this year. They look like fireworks, don't they? I love fireworks. They're spectacular in the sky, aren't they? Absolutely. Always part of a good carol, good carol show at Christmas, Brenton. I know, and there's plenty of those. Lots of carols concerts with fireworks. Happening all around the city of Adelaide and throughout South Australia. In fact, fireworks all around the world. This is Christmas all around the world. Featuring live music. They're performed by new bands from different cultures every year. We're seeing some of them represented here today. And this year we have uh, Chinese musicians with a group called Seeker Deer, students um, from Study Adelaide. And of course Adelaide is well known for its uh, study programs for international students who come from many countries all around the world to study here in Adelaide. This is almost like the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games with countries represented here from Poland, Korea, Mexico, Greece, Vietnam and the African Union. There are more than three Migos there by the looks of it. And then we have the Chinese musicians as well. And on the float too, Kate, there are baby animals from all the various continents around the world. A little baby leopard having a snooze there. I think he's missing all the action if he doesn't wake up soon. They tried changing his spots, but couldn't do it. Didn't work. A little baby kookaburra. We have a little possum there as well. And the beautiful sounds of our Chinese musicians, Sika Deer. We love our drummers in the pageant. These are the Raiders Drum Corps. 15 drummers followed by 15 dancers from the MJB dancers. The drum major today is Samantha Todd. James Blue Clark is one of their directors. It's his 60th year, Brenton, and his very last pageant this year. So thank you so much, Des, for all of your wonderful hard work and your contributions to the pageant over the years. Yes, Des, we salute you. I love it. You're watching the 2015 Credit Union Christmas pageant here live on Nine. We'll be back with more in just a moment. On a gorgeous sunny day, the birds flying in the sky here in Adelaide, South Australia, for this year's Credit Union Christmas pageant. We really are spoiled today, Brenton. They've come a long way, more than three kilometres since the pageant started on South Terrace to the final stretch here on North Terrace. 
And what's Christmas without a game of cricket? Absolutely. A bit of backyard cricket indeed. The cricket season, of course, is here. We've got Australia playing New Zealand at the moment. We can't wait for the Adelaide Test on the last weekend in November at the beautiful, iconic Adelaide Oval. I know. Isn't it absolutely amazing? Can't wait for that, Kate. And, of course, can't wait for a game of backyard cricket too. It's not just about the pros playing. I love getting together with family for a backyard game of cricket. A bit of batting practice there. <laughs> <laughs> and a bit of bowling as well. I'll have to practice a little bit, I think, before I take on my family in, in backyard cricket this year. I'm a little bit rusty. Oh, I didn't say I was any good. In fact, my problem is I, I chuck the ball into the next door neighbour's yard. Got to apologise. Look, he's out. He's hit the wicket. Oh, no. Oh, dear. We've got Stumps are broken. Bowler is Lizzie Gillespie, umpire Daryl Hare, batting is Buff Wombat. <laughs> Behind the stumps is Ricky Ponding. Well, they're carrying a baseball bat. I don't know how that quite works. And the golf club's in there as well. I think they got a bit confused as to what game they were playing. But this is the thing about backyard cricket. Sometimes you just, you've got to, uh, you know, see what's out there. If you don't have a cricket bat, I mean, what's the best thing for stumps? A garbage bin. If you haven't got stumps, you use a garbage bin. In That's fact, some true. of the garbage bins have got stumps painted on there. It's really cool. <laughs> this is true. That's a great Aussie thing. I love isn't that it? real dunk it makes when you hit the stumps <laughs> of the garbage bin. Oh, he's out! Oh, <laughs> 65 runs on the board. Now, Brenton, some of our favourite characters, real-life characters here in Adelaide at the beautiful Adelaide Zoo is our pandas, Wong Wong and Funi. And we've got Wong Wong here catching a wave. Of course, we all love to get down to the beach at Christmas time. Beautiful sunny weather and uh, take a bit of a surf out in the, in the beautiful blue waters off South Australia. Plenty of coastline in South Australia, plenty of great surfing spots as well. So Wong Wong's really enjoying himself there riding a wave. But of course, looking after him and looking out for him behind him there, we've got Mr Kangaroo as our lifeguard and he's making sure the waters are safe for him to continue his surfing. Look at the monkey face there on the tow motor. And the real Wong Wong and Foodie, as I said, at the Adelaide Zoo. And we invite all of our viewers from interstate to, of course, come and check out the Adelaide Zoo and, and visit our beautiful panda enclosure and see Wong Wong and Foodie. There's Foodie there enjoying an ice cream. And the meerkats. And there's a, a new chimpanzee, of course, at Bonato Zoo. Did you know, Kate, a lot of the, uh, the characters around the float, they are real Adelaide zookeepers. Remember, Ed? New chimpanzee at Monato. Beautiful little baby. Chance to give him a name too. Absolutely. They're looking for names at the moment. So that's another <laughs> another way you can get involved with uh, all of the beautiful animals that we have here get in Australia. banana for Christmas. Australia. And Mon well, Monato is a wonderful place to visit. Have you been to Monato before, I love Brenton? It. The uh, plain zoo. You can Lots see of space to it. giraffe and lions and cheetahs. All of those beautiful African animals living out in the South Australian savannah. And as you mentioned, you can feed the giraffes up nice and close. They're pretty tall, but you can feed them. Wang Wang and Funi, if they're lucky, might even get a trip up to Monado one day. And we are hoping that Wang Wang and Funi might have a little baby panda of their own one day. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? Everyone's hoping for it. Now, we all love reading to our children. Brenton, I've started reading to my little boy, as you, I'm sure, have done for your little boy as well. And one of our favourite, favourite books to read is Possum Magic. And it's based on uh, the bestseller Possum Magic, of course, by Mem Fox, a wonderful South Australian author. And there's Grandma Fox and little... Grandma Poss, sorry, and little, <laughs> little uh, Possum. Beautiful illustrations, though, aren't they, by... Julie Vivas, and they are represented here by this lovely float. Exactly to the book itself. Wonderful illustrations there by Julie. I oh, just noticed look at the those. food there. Yes, because Grandma Poss makes pavlova and lamingtons. <laughs> two of our favourite things to eat at Christmas time here in Australia. Although I reckon the New Zealanders in the crowd, they might take you up on there on the, on the pavlova. They might. Debate. We're going to claim it anyway. This Another is Australia great thing for you. We, well, this is something we love to do in South Australia, the good old barn dance, Brenton. In all of our regional centres in South Australia, you'll find 
a barn dance or two that has happened throughout history, get together at the local hall or the local music festival. Yeah, there are, as you said, there are town halls everywhere around all our country centres and they are host to a number of great Aussie old-fashioned bush dances like this one here. This looks like it's out in the outback somewhere. Of course, South Australia is the gateway to the outback through the beautiful Flinders Ranges. There really is something special about country. Uh, South Australia wouldn't have to say, Brenton. It is the gateway to the outback, but everyone is so welcoming. You go and visit our regional centres in SA, everyone welcomes you in like you're part of the family. And these folk look pretty welcoming with their bush dance today. And we've got someone riding a tractor pulling this float as well. Yeah, tractors are part of the Aussie landscape too, just as much. Oh, what another great Aussie icon. Mulga Bill's Bicycle Club, based on the poem. Mulga Bill's Bicycle Club by the legendary Banjo Patterson. Now, Mulga Bill, the story goes, buys a penny farthing bike, but he can't control it and he ends up <laughs> in a creek. But I have to say, I don't blame him because these bikes are notoriously hard to control. No wonder they probably didn't last very long in their design, really. Of course, <laughs> the two standard sized wheels on our normal bicycles these days go a whole lot better than the big wheel and the small wheel. I can't say his toes are helping him out. Look at the wombat peering out of the hole. He's going, well, What's going on? Why is my home being disturbed? And check out all of those 1800 <laughs> swimming costumes, Brenton. I think they'd be a bit too heavy to swim in these days. <laughs> no, I mean, he should be in a lycra jersey, really. Again, a wonderful stretch of North Terrace there. Looking down to the only concert band. They can compete at state and national A grade level cut. Dressed up in their festive tinsel as well this year. Only, of course, a picturesque tree lined suburb of Adelaide several shopping strips for the discerning shopper. Feeling hot, hot, hot. And the wonderful Adelaide 36ers dancers. Now the Adelaide 36ers, of course, is our basketball team here in Adelaide. And these girls perform at all of their home games. And they've been kicking and jumping and waving their pom-poms all along the, the pageant route today. You have to have a good stretch before you dance that oh, far. Oh, too right. They've been walking more than three kilometres since the pageant started on South Terrace, the other side of the city. The Austin 7 Clown Capers. Now, this blue Austin 7 is in original condition, Brenton. Surrounded by clowns from the South Australian Tourism Commission which is the pageant owner and producer. The hair looks like fairy floss. <laughs> yeah, we love our vintage Austin cars here in South Australia as well. We have the Bay to Birdwood run, of course, where all of our vintage cars are on display. Yes, that's an iconic run up through the beautiful Adelaide Hills to the National Motor Museum at Birdwood. Massive collection there. Beautiful aerial view here of the London bus and the Australian classical youth ballet. This is an authentic 1946 London bus, which is filled this year with competition winners, thanks to the credit unions. So these lucky people have won their spot on this beautiful London bus, this beautiful red London bus. So they've spent the pageant waving from atop that view there, which is a fantastic way to see the pageant. And look at the stars and the characters there. All from Mary Poppins. The chimney sweepers, the bag ladies, the flower sellers. Of course, all London characters because this is where this bus is from. I love Mary Poppins. And the characters dancing in the front, of course, are from the Australian classical youth ballet. Can you spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? It would probably take me too long. <laughs> <laughs> well, better not start because Father Christmas isn't too far away. Oh, look, number 53. There's another famous vehicle with that number. Herbie the Love Bug. To some other classic cars now. This is Kingsley's Vintage Cars and some strange-looking Keystone Cops. Now, that little red one is a 19... 
04 Baker Electric, driven by Jacob Miller there. The little blue ones driven by Rayleigh Lamp this year. The Renault Saloon from 1899, driven by Rayleigh Lamp. And your little red fire engine, Brenton. 1915 yes. Dennis fire engine, driven by Deegan Gray. Isn't it beautiful? And the little white 1908 Lauren Clement, driven by Nick Ferranda. So we're going from vintage now to something that's really quite space age. Galaxy 2000 and the Star Wars characters from the 501st Legion. Yes, we're all hoping this Christmas is going to be out of this world. The best in the universe, no less, because guess what's happening just before Christmas came? What? The launch, the release of Star Wars. Oh, this is much anticipated film that's been being built up. They've leaked so many trailers, uh, I think, this year oh, yeah. already so far in the, in the lead up to this. Here we have some of the characters, of course, from Star Wars as well. But some fans, Brenton, have been taking all of those trailers and trying to piece them together to see what this <laughs> new movie is going to bring. But we'll have to keep guessing until it is released. I oh, listen to that music. Star Wars theme there. Oh, Darth Vader. Stormtroopers as well. They actually struggled to get through the crowd this morning. They actually had to use the force. <laughs> and they're able to get in OK in the end. But, you know, when I was a kid, all I wanted at Christmas time were figurines R2-D2 and C-3PO. He's not too evil there, is he, Darth Vader, being as part of the pageant? No, bringing a bit of cheer this year. Instead of the dark side. <laughs> The, the happy loving side of Darth Vader. And some more beautiful pipes. This is the Seymour College Pipe Band. This is South Australia's only all-girl pipe band joining the pageant for the very first time this year. A huge welcome to Seymour College. stirs the Christmas spirit, doesn't it? These bands are just awesome. I love them. Here we have our wonderful Credit Union Christmas pageant mascots, Jolly and Jingles. Having plenty of fun on their own float this year. Yeah, that's brand new, actually. A new float for them. Save walking, I guess. Absolutely. They've, they've been in the pageant a few years with us now, Brenton. I think they're starting to get a little bit tired on their feet. They can't walk those three and a half kilometres, so they've... Uh, <laughs> got their special float to carry them all the way this year but that means they can dance and smile and wave the whole way without stopping. Standing on board those alphabet blocks. I love the clowns they just love getting involved with the kids and look how well behaved the kids are staying well behind that blue on a line. Big tradition to start back in 1933 with the first page. It's amazing to know how much it's grown. I mean, back in that day, we only had eight floats, Kate. Only eight floats in the pageant. Now, there are more than 65. Absolutely. And 88 altogether, including the floats and the bands and the moving sets. And 250 clowns, including this big fella. And he really is a big fella. Two and a half metres in length. This is clowning Clara in his top head. Hot, top hat, rather. And check out his shoes. Look, this one. He's trying to get a kiss on his big nose there. <laughs> Almost. Ah, oh, there we go. I tell you what. We, had a, we struggled to get one of the doors open in Channel 9 recently, so we called on clowning Clary in his top hat. And lying down like that, it, we just were able to go straight through. It was fantastic. Size 48 shoes. Wow, 48. Yep. That would be very hard to find a new pair of shoes. They're so big, it takes about an hour to put them on. And Clowning Clary is joined by the Australian Drill Dance Team this year. It's been the Dancing Reindeers helping him get through this year's pageant group. Look at all the colour here from Circuits, the circus, all the thrills and spills of the circus, starring out performers from the youth performance group Circuits. Very talented performers and bearded ladies too, no less. <laughs> Giving a beard a bit of a comb there, but look at these wonderful Circuits. Now they spend years perfecting their circus 
art. And look at them there, all <laughs> sitting atop their lyres and lyres and their, their rings and their poles there, looking fantastic. Take a, a lot of core strength to do that, Brandon. <laughs> Riding the ponies as well, there are jugglers there, and strong men too. Strong boys and girls. Uh, another bus, this is the Christmas Express. And again, the folk on board, lucky enough to have been granted this special opportunity to ride and be involved in the Christmas pageant. The thing I love about our Christmas pageant here in the city is that it inspires so many other country pageants. You know, there's all pageants down at Glenelg, through Nord, up through Blackwood. There is such a wonderful pageant and parade scene here in South Australia because of this pageant, because of the history here, in which, of course, all the local kindergartens and community school groups get involved. Now, the Christmas Express might be going slow, Brenton, but it is an express bus straight to the Magic Cave. So they're going straight there after the pageant, Brenton, to, of course, see Father Christmas when he makes it to town. Finally, he's not too far away now. And, of course, he'll take up residence in the Magic Cave. And the Intel Brass Band, a regular with the pageant over several years now. watching the 2015 Credit Union Christmas pageant right here on Channel 9. We'll be back with lots more after the break. <laughs> Christmas has arrived here in the streets of Adelaide with Pogo, one of our floats in the Credit Union Christmas pageant now in its 83rd year. Pogo, of course, been around since 1997 now. Iconic he, face of the pageant. Absolutely. He has become quite quite an icon. And uh, as we've mentioned as well, we've seen throughout the pageant as well, uh, he's one of over 250 clowns in the pageant. And they all, of course, have to attend clown school before they get their certificate and are allowed to perform as clowns in the pageant and helping them through clown school I'm sure Pogo giving us all a bit of a lesson on how to ride those tiny clown bikes well this one's actually quite a big bike Brenton but Pogo's so big that it looks tiny in comparison. He has I have to say been granted an exception from the South Australia police for not wearing a helmet his hair actually acts as a helmet it's it really so does. big uh, well, I think it would cushion any any small fall off and that his bike. nose that big bright red nose he actually learned the hard way. He did come off the bike. That's why it's so <laughs> That's red. why it's red. Now, we did see Bruto a little earlier in the pageant. This is the rest of the monster family. There's Dad. Uh, sorry, not my dad. I mean uh, <laughs> the dad of the monster family. Dad of the family. monster family. Yeah, That's Sorg. And we also have with him Isabella, or Bella for short. <laughs> What's she hiding in there? Zeus is all grown up. Absolutely. She's out of her pram. She's out of her pram this year. She's running around. She's a toddler now. <laughs> right. Running around making mischief with the crowd, waving and sticking her tongue out. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Zabella's friend Oog waving hello there. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? Just so cute. We've got a few monsters in our own family. Wow, I'm not even going to go there, Brenton. <laughs> Christmas will be fun at your house. <laughs> now, these penguins are cool. They certainly are. They're very, very cool on the ice slide there. Little baby penguin having a, having a bit of fun. Well, that's what you do in the pageant, isn't it? I mean, that's what it's all about. Families sharing the pageant fun together. Now, these guys better enjoy the ice while oh, they can because I don't think it's going to last too long in our beautiful sunshine today. It might start melting a little bit. I think it might start to melt a little bit. Although, we want to make sure it's cool enough for Father Christmas. He'll be arriving not too far away. Absolutely, because he's come all the way from the North Pole and he's used to the, the weather being quite cool. So maybe these guys are giving a little bit of a sign that Father Christmas isn't too far away, just keeping the climate nice and cool for him <laughs> as he joins us shortly here in Adelaide. These are some of the friends, obviously, of Long Long and Fooney from our Adelaide Zoo. It's a real day out for a lot of the animals here in South Australia, isn't it? Absolutely. 
Now you remember earlier on I mentioned there was a special teddy that was going to yes. join us this year. And this is him. This is the Get Well Soon Teddy. Unfortunately, he's been in the wars a little bit. He's got a, a little band-aid on his head because he's had a bit of a bump and his oh, no. arm's in a bit of a sling. And he's got a bit of a cut there on his foot, but he is on the mend he's and he's spirits, wishing he? all the boys and girls that might be a little bit sick or injured as well this Christmas to get well soon and he's going to help cheer them up and feel better very, very soon. Yes, if uh, you're a child joining us from hospital, our thoughts, prayers and encouragement are with you today at this time of year. It's Christmas time and we hope that you feel better real, real soon. And not just that too, the nurses and the carers, the doctors, they look after our kids so well. They really do a fantastic job. Yeah, they are the, uh, the unsung heroes, our medical professions uh, here in South Australia. We are so grateful. Now, Kate, this year, the Ghana Country Christmas with Tan and Younger, it means red kangaroo dreaming. That's what we're seeing here. For those of you watching around Australia, Ghana is the name of the Aboriginal people of the Adelaide Plains. And this float was designed and built by Jill Halliday and Indigenous artist Shireen Rankin in respect of the Ghana cultural heritage and the relationship that Ghana people have with their country. Right in front of the South Australian Museum here on North Terrace, which is home to one of the largest collections of Indigenous artefacts in the country. There's Nelly, Kate, one of the classics here of the pageant since, uh, in fact, this is, this is a very special year for her, 65 years in the pageant. It's still going strong. Nelly the elephant made up of 9,000 moving parts, huge history, had a history of breakdowns from 1950 to 67, failed to turn a corner one year and went straight through the crowd, <laughs> then in 67, tucked away for most, just in parts really, and returned in 1980, thanks to the Hind family completed every pageant since. Of course, elephants native to India, where these beautiful Bollywood dancers are from. That's Bringing a bit of Bollywood magic to yeah, Adelaide. behind by the Heathfield Renegades. And the strictly talented dancers are there. Cheerleading dance school from the western suburbs. Very competitive teams. They're state and international title holders. They've actually travelled overseas, went to New Zealand earlier this year to represent South Australia. And they look superb in their uniforms too. Oh, we have another pair of beady eyes looking at all the boys and girls here today, Brenton. This, of course, is the Little Red Riding Hood float, and there we have the big bad wolf posing as Grandma, sitting up say, in bed. I'd be a bit worried if that was Grandma. In fact, I think I can see Grandma hiding underneath the bed. Oh, no. She's Help hiding her. from the big bad wolf. Someone needs to give her a hat. Where's the hunter? We need the hunter. To... Oh, he's hiding in the bed. What are you doing? Grandma's under the bed. Help her. And Little Red Riding Hood at the front there with her basket of goodies for Grandma. Although, looking at the wolf now, he doesn't look too scary. He's dancing around to the music. Maybe he's a friendly wolf. This is one of my favourite childhood stories as well. Alice in Wonderland. And Alice is surrounded with all the crazy characters from Wonderland. We've got the caterpillar there and we've got the Mad Hatter's Tea Party in the hair that's saying, you'll be late. <laughs> but they're definitely on time for the Christmas pageant. They're sitting around their table having a cup of tea, in fact. So they've been uh, eating and drinking their way through the pageant this year and waving to all of the boys and girls and mums and dads and grandmas and grandpas and nanas and pops all along the pageant route. But I think the march here, I think he might have fallen asleep. 
at you the table. You should be called How a rude. mad march here <laughs> because uh, march here in Adelaide is just full on, isn't it? There are so many events like this, lots of table gatherings, food, hospitality, events to be enjoyed. I'm surprised he's running around and being late for everything. Look at all his arms moving. Kate, we met the pageant royal family earlier on. We did, the pageant king and queen. Of course, the pageant queen Eliza and king Fred this year waving. Eliza's looking beautiful in her royal pink frock and carrying her stunning? beautiful scepter and her bouquet of flowers. And there's our junior royals this year as well. Junior Prince Joshua Jones and Junior Princess Holly Harris, who are also uh, crowned in a ceremony at Glenelg. Now, of course, the royal family, Kate, uh, another big tradition for over 70 years now. The pageant queen first began in 1939. It was all about helping wartime fundraising. Did you know that the only time the pageant's ever stopped is when the war was on, the Second World War, and then it resumed as the victory pageant? What a great day that would have been when we knew that the war was over, it was all finished, all said and done, and we could come out to the streets of Adelaide and enjoy this wonderful colour and spectacle that is the Christmas pageant. And no pageant would be complete without the flags flying, representing the uh, wonderful sponsors of our credit unions that bring us the pageant now for 20 years. <laughs> They've been sponsoring for the last 20 and it's been great to have their support. Yes, of course, yeah. they all get together, the uh, People's Choice Credit Union, Beyond Bank Australia, Credit Union SA and the Police Credit Union and they give the people of South Australia the pageant as their gift which is so wonderful and as you said for 20 years they've been giving this gift every year. And the Adelaide Lightning dances with them, the, M the WM rather, BL basketball team, the Adelaide Lightning team. And we have the South Australian detachment of the Royal Australian Navy Band. They of course have played throughout South Australia, they play at ship departure and commissioning ceremonies and graduations and they rehearse at the Keswick Barracks. Of course, Adelaide home to the warships being built here at Osborne with ASC. Incredible amount of Navy history here in South Australia. You're watching Nine's coverage of the Credit Union Christmas pageant. We'll be back with more in just a moment. You are watching the Credit Union Christmas pageant here in Adelaide, South Australia. Wherever you're watching from, we hope you've been enjoying it as much as we have been bringing it to you. A beautiful day here in Adelaide. And here we have the Christmas stocking escorted by 24 living dolls and two big dolls there keeping guard over <laughs> the Christmas stocking. Of course, Brenton, you put out your stockings on Christmas Eve and hope to wake up in the morning with them filled with goodies. It's something we do in our family every year. Well, same. And uh, look, I'll, I'll give you the hot tip right now. It's going up this afternoon. We're putting our stockings up just in hope that maybe they get filled before Christmas. I don't know if that'll happen. I don't not. think that's going to happen. You have to wait for <laughs> Father Christmas to do that on Christmas Eve, I think. But it is something that we do like to do and filled with lots of little treats. And it doesn't just, it's not just for the kids, Brenton. It's for the big kids, for the big as, well. kids as well. Yeah. And in fact, I'm looking at the toys in there. I'm just eyeing off what I'd like. There's a train to begin with. I'll have that. Thank you very much. Ah, the Yule Tide Skaters. <laughs> They've... Uh, They've got very good balance, I'll give they them that. They do. They're, I don't know about the clowns, though, but these Yuletide skaters are provided through Skate SA, with the peak body for all the skate sports in South Australia, including the roller derby. Now, Santa, Father Christmas, is not too far away, Brenton, but one of his reindeers here, Rudolph, is uh, heading up the uh, Christmas lolly trolley because Rudolph is the reindeer that loves all of the Christmas candy. Well, who does it? I mean, you've got some great iconic brands here in South Australia. Australia's famous Hague's chocolates, Charlesworth nuts, uh, the Roven men's confectionery line, it's all there. Trolleys full of lollies for all the good boys and girls. 
And we have some more colourful characters from the Scouts gang show. Yes, these are the Scouts. They're all about team building, preparation and planning. And theatrical performance is very much part of that. Stage management, even lighting and technical arrangements. More of the colour that is part of the Credit Union Christmas pageant. There is so much colour and spectacle here. So wonderful seeing all the generations upon generations that come through here. You come and see it as a child and then you grow up and bring your own children to the pageant here and it really does just get bigger and brighter every single year that it is held. And uh, beautiful, beautiful day here today in Adelaide and people have lined up, as you said, from early this morning, Brenton, and we're about 10 deep here along North Terrace, all vying for a great spot to see all the floats and the bands. Another band here right now. The Poly Grammar School Drum Corps with Drum Major Frank Fragami. drums, Brenton, and they're also joined by uh, the Christmas beat, which up close the costumes are designed like a piano keyboard, and the black keys are in the shape of drumsticks, but they're keeping beat, but these drums are a little bit different to the ones that we just saw, because these are magic drums. Now, they can beat themselves. Beat themselves? <laughs> it's, it's like a competition, isn't it? And here's Mother Goose and the Christmas table. Classic nursery rhyme character, Mother Goose, sitting down to dinner. Of course, we know dinner is uh, a wonderful thing to look forward to on Christmas Day. A big tradition of getting together around the Christmas table for a festive feast. And we really are spoiled for choice with all of the beautiful gourmet food we have here in Adelaide, South Australia. Uh, we have the beautiful Central Markets where you can buy lots of your uh, fresh Christmas produce as well as a beautiful Barossa uh, mm. Valley ham. Hey, it's organ. What else would you have on the table? Oh, well, you have to have your Christmas cherries. That's a must-do as part of Australian Christmas, so you can get those from the central markets. What about uh, apple crumbles? Absolutely. And also pudding with custard. Oh, now you've got me thinking <laughs> now about I've got lunch. you hungry as well. You You're have. looking forward to lunch now. Mm. Peter Coombs, happy Christmas. Of course, Peter Croom, <laughs> Peter Croom, another great South Australian icon. Now this is Anything Is Possible from Tutti Arts. They are celebrating a disability in our community. And the Tutti Arts connects people with a disability with mainstream theatre. This Adelaide team has set a world benchmark, Brenton, in the field of disability theatre and other countries have adopted their formula for success. beautiful in their blue costumes this year. And that float has been around for many, many years in our pageant. It's lovely to see it been given a new look of paint. This is looking lovely. We can hear them caroling away from Tudy Arts. These are the pipes and drums of the Royal Caledonian. They were formed in 1894. They are the oldest pipe band in the Southern Hemisphere. Some of the original members, no, I'm just joking. Still here. <laughs> <laughs> Still here in South Australia. Thrilled to have them here. The vivid red McGregor tartan, the flying plate and full feather bonnet. They have appeared in military tattoos around the world. They're going to return to Edinburgh in uh, 2017 and at the Queen's birthday celebrations at Windsor Castle next year. What an honour.
Well, Father Christmas is not far away now. It's getting very exciting. We've got much more from the Credit Union Christmas pageant right after the break. Welcome back to the famous Christmas pageant operated by the Credit Union Theatre in South Australia of North Terrace. And you this year, Kate, the list keeper, keeping all the names of the boys and girls. Absolutely, a very, very important list because he keeps a track of who's been naughty and who's been nice. And that all rides on whether you get a good gift or not, Brenton. Oh dear. All right, well, uh, if I look closely at that list, I'm wondering what I'm going to be. Of course, he hands it on to the big fella himself, Father Christmas, who checks it twice. And where all the presents are made, of course, at Grandpa's Christmas Workshop. All the elves, pixies, fairies and gnomes are busy um, with Christmas not too far away now. You said 41 sleeps, Brenton, so they're absolutely frantic in Grandpa's Christmas Workshop, getting all of those <laughs> presents ready for to be delivered on Christmas Eve. But I think Grandpa might have dozed off in his yeah. rocking chair. I think I someone think needs to wake him up. No. Oh, look at that. Look at the train. There's a train set running around and a beautiful dog, a Dalmatian there. That spot for Dalmatian. Another couple of my favourite things there. Dogs and the Polar Express, maybe. The Absolutely. Train set. In fact, there's two trains running around the tracks there. <laughs> And if you want to put any calls to the North Pole, Brenton, if you have a few present requests, why not use Ringo, the North Pole hotline? He takes messages for Father Christmas, who prefers to use the old-style phones. None of these <laughs> smartphones or Androids or iPhones. Ringo's an old-fashioned phone, but he'll get you a direct line to Father Christmas so you can tell him what you'd like for Christmas this year. Yeah, I couldn't imagine a modern-day Ringo, could you? It would have to be the old-style ringtone. Absolutely. It's Christmas in Toy Town, designed by John and Barney from the Pageant Workshop. A couple of the colourful characters there at Stardust Castle. Look at all the kids here. They're the characters that are the friends and family of many of our pageant helpers with a train to escort them through the pageant route. I love it. And if you know what you would like for Christmas this year, you could use Ringo or you could send an email to Father Christmas. If you go to cupageant.com.au, there's a little function there that you can send an email to Father Christmas and let him know your special wish this year. Hey, Kate, guess what? Today being pageant day, guess what it's time for? Putting up the Christmas tree, is that right? It's a great pageant tradition in South Australian homes to put up the Christmas tree on pageant weekend and that's what I'll be doing this afternoon. Absolutely, and this tree is beautifully decorated with red and gold baubles and candy canes and beautiful snowflakes as well and some lovely Christmas fairies underneath the tree there as well guarding all of those presents and waving their magic wands to spread a bit of Christmas magic this year. You know, if that were me, I'd be interested to have a sneak peek in one of those uh, those presents. You're not allowed to, Brenton. But this <laughs> Christmas tree, I'm not sure how big your Christmas tree is at home, but this one is 4.2 metres tall. It's huge. And look at the star on top of the Christmas tree. Stars represent Christmas, the first star of Christmas. That's why they're up the top of the Christmas tree. This is the band of the 10th 27th Battalion, the Royal South Australian Regiment. Been a massive year for them, marking 100 years since the forefathers of the unit departed the shores of South Australia, bound for Gallipoli in the Great War. behind them, the SA Precision team. They've had a very long association with the pageant under the direction of Glennis Anderson and Melissa Furnell. Now these girls have danced in China and Great Britain and they form guard of honour for Father Christmas as he enters the Magic Cave. And another picturesque Christmas postcard right here. The Winter Wonderland. Wouldn't the White Christmas be nice? Well, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen this year. I've uh, had, a, had a chat to Virginia, our uh, weather, weather lady here in Adelaide, and I think it's going to be warm. But 
And this That's is okay. Virginia's last day with us at Channel 9. She's uh, bound for her own winter wonderland overseas. She's taken a bit of an epic trip over there. Not by horse and cart, though. This beautiful, beautiful horse going over the bridge. It is just so Christmas, isn't it, looking at it? And a float like that. A very traditional Christmas. Not one that we see here in Australia, but definitely stirs up those scenes of a very traditional Christmas. Christmas a can't winter come to wonderland. A winter wonderland. I've never been in a sleigh, but I think I'd like to go in a sleigh, horse-drawn sleigh one day. I tell you what, I'm not sure about a sleigh, but put me in that snow dome. That would be good fun, wouldn't it? Absolutely. I've actually been in this snow dome, Brenton, so have you. <laughs> yes, that's right. The real snow dome. It was quite cold in there, I must say. It got a little bit chilly. Year. I needed a coat, so I couldn't spend inside. too much time in there. This is the Happy Snow family inside, having a wonderful time. We've got a few snow domes at home, and they just sit nicely on the mantelpiece next to the Christmas tree. Now, this is Stardust Castle, of course. Stardust Castle is the famous home of the Christmas pageant. It's where all of the beautiful floats are made. And this, of course, is a model replica of the wonderful, magical Stardust Castle itself. Do you know, Brenton, it has more than 600 stars on it? And this is the biggest star of all. New to the pageant this year, the eight-pointed Christmas star beaming out the light of Christmas. In light of this year's theme, everybody's a star. You hear Jiminy Cricket singing in the background. Of course, the Christmas message is universal. Peace on earth and goodwill to all, representing the very first Christmas, shining above the nativity. Which is why we saw that star earlier on, above the Christmas tree and dawn on Christmas decorations and all over the suits here. And as you just mentioned, Brenton, the nativity scene, which depicts the original story of Christmas, the very reason that we celebrate Christmas every year. Baby Jesus being born in a stable in Bethlehem. With Mary and Joseph. And the tow motor there for that very first Christmas. And of course, you'll see nativity scenes all around uh, Christmas celebrations. Of course, you could go up to Lobethal and see our iconic Christmas lights, and they have a live nativity scene up there every year uh, depicting the birth of Jesus in the stable. Yes, it is truly amazing, isn't it? A wonderful reflection of the true meaning of Christmas here. And amazing to think that without this scene here that we're seeing now, the nativity, the pageant wouldn't exist at all. And dressed in red is not the man in red yet, Brenton, but the, this is the Tea Tree Gully Red Bags, led by musical director David Gardner. The Tea Tree Gully Red Bags provide great opportunities for young band members to build their skills. And the beautiful Prestige Dance Academy, established in 1994, looking so gorgeous there in their star-themed costumes this year. Many of their graduates go on to perform in the Australian Ballet Interstate Program. And that song, Celebration, with how we started the pageant today, we're heralded Father Brenton, Christmas. He's here. Wow. <laughs> he's actually arrived in Adelaide on his beautiful float, led by all of his reindeer. Father Christmas has arrived in South Australia, waving to everybody here along North Terrace. Yes, Christmas boys and girls, arrived. he's the star of the show, the one we've been waiting so long to see. It's really him. Father Christmas has made his grand arrival to Adelaide all the way from the North Pole. It's been quite a journey, and in just a few moments, he's going to be settling into his new home here on North Terrace at the Magic Cave at David Jones. Yes, adorned in red satin. Look at everyone. Their phones out, capturing the moment, taking photos the day that Father Christmas arrived in Adelaide in 2015. Adorned at red satin, his beard, look how white as snow it is. What a welcome sight, heralding the start of the festive season. He is the brightest star of them all in this year's Credit Union Christmas pageant. And there's his reindeer too, his faithful reindeer. 
Can you name them all, Brenton? Well, there's Dasher, there's Dancer, there's Prancer and Vixen. I think it's Comet. There's Cupid there. Donna? Maybe even Blitzen. There you go. All of his reindeer have brought him safely here to Adelaide as he makes his way down to our landing stage to be greeted by the pageant royals, Queen Eliza and King Fred. And those beautiful dancers here as well. Queen Eliza shaking his hand, welcoming Father Christmas as he walks up the red carpet there onto the landing stage, greeted by King Fred and also our pageant royals. The girls of the Australian Girls Choir singing to welcome Father Christmas to Adelaide. Don't go away because right after the break, Father Christmas will join in with the carols with singing sensation Rob Mills. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Credit Union Christmas pageant. A huge treat for us now with a special concert here on the main stage. Give a big Adelaide warm welcome to Rob Mills. My love, my darling, I've hungered for your touch, oh such a long, lonely time, time, time goes by, so slowly. And time, time can do so much. Are you still mine? Cause I need your love. Oh, mother, baby, you know that I need your love. I got to be your love to me. Thank you very much. You guys want to hear some Christmas carols?
shaft You better not cry You better not pout I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town That's right guys Santa Claus is coming to town He's actually right here So Santa Claus is coming There he is Hey Santa He loves that one It's his favourite song Let's go, girls. Hey! Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe hung where you can see every girl tries to stop. Hey! Come on! Rocking around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Come on. Have some party pies and we'll do some caroling. So feeling when you hear voices singing, let's be jolly. Deck the halls with bars of holly. Rocking around the Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in the new old fashioned way. Come on, girls. The Christmas tree. Here we got this. Sentimental feeling, the princess knows when you hear voices singing. Let's be jolly, deck the halls with boughs of holly. The Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in the new old fashioned way. Come on, one more time. In the new old fashioned way. You want one more? Come on, girls. I think you do. You got the red nose reindeer, had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. Oh, the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let Paul Rudolph join in any reindeer. to say
Girls Choir of Australia, they're amazing. Take a bow, girls, take a bow, you're amazing. <laughs> How good was that, Father Christmas? Now come on up, you have travelled a very, very long way to come here. More than 300,000 people here in Adelaide right. just to see you. There's people all over Australia. You're a very wise man. Do you have a message for people? Yes, yes I do. Christmas is all about love. Love one another every day. I wish you all a merry, merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Christmas has finally arrived here in Adelaide, South Australia. We're so glad you could be a part of it with Father Christmas now making his home here. There have been so many stars involved in the pageant today. The Elves at Stardust Castle they have been busy all year getting all the floats and costumes ready for pageant day. And all the pageant characters who can't wipe the smiles off their faces. And all the boys and girls, the mums and dads, the nans and pops that have been waving and cheering along the pageant route. You've all been stars, all incredibly bright stars of the Credit Union Christmas pageant. Absolutely, and of course you can relive all the magic of the Credit Union Christmas pageant at 9jumpin.com.au and you can also get your copy of the Christmas pageant DVD which will be available to buy from the sponsoring credit unions or you can order online at www.cupageant.com.au from November the 27th. Yes, yeah, a wonderful keepsake of today's events, which we have to say has just been absolutely marvellous. One for the record books, the 83rd Credit Union Christmas pageant, with all the clowns, all the colour and spectacle winding its way through the streets of Adelaide. It's been so much fun, Brenton. We've had seen all the characters, all the smiles. The weather was absolutely beautiful today. Sunny, a few clouds in the sky, but it's meant so many people have come out to really enjoy this iconic South Australian event. It's about coming together, and that's what we've seen today. It transcends generations. Grandkids, what, through to grandparents. The old nipper and nimble. And, of course, Christmas in the city is just about to begin. And it doesn't mean that Father Christmas is going away anywhere. In fact, Father Christmas is here to stay. 41 sleeps, and you know where he's going to be? He's going to be right here in the city at, Ma at the Magic Cave. Well, welcome, Father Christmas. What a huge day it's been, Brenton. A wonderful Credit Union Christmas pageant for 2015. Everybody's been a star, making this year extra special. We hope that you've enjoyed watching at home as much as we have here today. And on behalf of all of us here from the team of the Credit Union Christmas pageant, we wish you at home a very happy and safe Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll see you again next year.